history is very important many time parents want to accept that kid as a conscious person and uh, sometimes if they are not convinced that they about a diagnosis then they won't follow the your prescription so why history and proper examination and counseling is important because parents need to accept the diagnosis of the particular condition like take a full stain examination in frequency of stool consistency of stool painful defecation which is very good diet see the most of kid nowadays have a lots of junk food which can be made the product like uh, and uh, very less green vegetables less water more screen time less physical activities uh, improper toilet training these are the all mal masala of the depression uh, and some behavior problem behavior problem like see the uh, behavior problem like autistic kid adhd kid or cp kid see this kid have a limited capacity of understanding so which might interfere data a phase of the toilet trend and sometimes social history like a uh, uh, non availability of the proper toilet or a uh, adult side of commod or sometimes a dysfunctional family stress these are the all factor may lead to this so this is what important see the when we are treating a patient we are not treating the individual we are treating the family though the family might not be sick with the physical symptoms but they have economical mental and social symptoms So we need to address them. Without treating the whole family, we cannot we cannot treat the whole disease. Yeah, it, it maybe sounds something uh, 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 something that we are expecting more, but it is a reality of the life. The health should be a holistic approach, right? See, remember the abdominal pain may be due to constipation and diarrhea, maybe or worse. Yeah. So many times, let me give you two to three case example. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, at 9 year old kid came to emergency room at 1 am having a severe tummy pain and he has history of vomiting also and uh, it said that uh, he is passing uh, he has a loose motion which is very foul smelling i asked the history the no history of outside eating no history of any uh, traveling or the on examination there is a fecal mass palpable in the left lower uh, left iliac fossa so basically i was sure that uh, he doesn't have a uh, uh, diarrhea per se but i need to prove it okay and second thing he doesn't have fever also which is also looking at it is possible that a uh, constipation with uh, incontinence can present with a diarrhea and parents say that he has a diarrhea and the child might get end up having a one, one week of antibiotic looking at the dysentery okay and the uh, thing is dead so uh so in that case uh, we what do we do standing x ray and we find it is a constipated loop and we start them the movicol and child become fine and for the emergency we have to give enema in the the moment we give enema the moment child passed the stool he become well uh, within a fraction of the minute and it's like a um, some sort of miracle parents were ready to do ct scan mri or we they were ready for a surgery also but one 50 rupees enema has done the one because uh, we feel that a child has a constipation other thing is that the same four year old boy came in the emergency room that he is not able to pass in the urine since evening he came around 11 pm and the parents sent us since 5 pm he is not passing the urine he wants to pass but he has a pain while passing the urine and i asked him ke as uh, in when did he last pass the motion he pass he the child hasn't passed the motion since two days i said fine i said ask him how he is passing the motion he said they are passing the, the kid is passing the motion while standing only not sitting only and the third question i uh, i just do examination the bladder was palpable child um, palpable his pulse blood pressure is normal his circulation is normal his perfusion is normal otherwise he is uh totally conscious or dented so what i have to do we have just discussed the case with the um, urologist so i do it one necessary but for the sake of the parents we have necessary and we give just one we give 20 rupees neotomic in him and the moment child is passed the most person he passed the urine the thing is that what happened if the fecal mass was uh, uh, doing pressure effect on the on the urethra and because of pressure effect uh, child is was not able to passing the urine because urethra get collapsed temporarily 
So the moment the child able to pass this tool from the rectum, the uh, collapse get normal, and child was able to pass the urine. So these are the few cases where child come in extreme condition, and we find it constipation can just cause an abnormal enema can do a wonder thing. Yeah, and second thing, <coughs> and thing is that. Uh, uh, many times child comes with a uh, diarrhea and constipation and uh, we ask parents to go for the enema and they don't agree and uh, after some time child comes and we start the uh, polyclin glycol and it do wonder. So there are lots of cases. We, I feel that the cases of constipation are still, uh, we feel it is a tip of I iceberg what we said. Next thing. Next. Yeah, uh, ideally, we should ask the parents to see the competitive tool of the child with a Bristol chart. But uh, I don't know in, in India, we have it's very uh, not pleasant experience. But uh, uh, in Western countries, they are doing is a Bristol stool chart, and uh, based on the shape and color, we can say that uh, how severe is the constipation is there. Right, the seven is a gravy means it's a gravy is a constipation is overflowed. That parents said it is a diarrhea, but it is a really constipation. What happened when the child is constipation? There is a uh, you know wall in large intestine are loaded with a fecal material. So they are layer with the hard stool, the semi solid stool, soft stool, and gases. So sometimes they child pass the hard stool, then it comes the semi solid stool, and the soft stool, soft stool looks like a diarrhea. Then after we pass the hard stool. So there is a unequivocal distribution of the semi-solid, soft, and hard stool. That's why the parents felt that the child may have died. Yeah, next one. The examination. Look for the evidence of the fecal impaction. The large palpable stool in lower abdomen. It is possible you may be able to pass the large fecal mass on the left iliac fossa or around periumbilical or soiling associated with fecal output. See that the you, you may find uh, the child have a sometimes kids give a history that uh, he uh, without any sensation he is passing the most. Generally, we, in diarrhea, if the child is grown up, he will say that I want to go to the pool. But in this uh, overflowing, the child may not have a sensation. And uh, one of the important things the child with a constipation can present with the night, night bed wetting, like a child is passing urine in the night, which was seriously normal. So secondary bed wetting may be associated with the constipation. You treat the constipation, child may get improved because what happened that the fecal mass are uh, when the fecal mass, fecal mass accumulate in the large bowel, it may cause a pressure effect and, and it decreases the bladder capacity and it may make the urinary bladder temporarily irritable because of that some chemical reaction. So because of these two factors, child may start the bed wetting at the night. If you treat the constipation, Child may improve. It is a one of the cause. I am not saying it is a wonder, but it is one of the common cause. Secondary bed wetting mostly associated with the constipation.